trust way. Um, hold on. Yeah. Honestly, a lot of people think I, a lot of people think I cut them off. They just fell off. You know, the sleeves were too small, so they busted off. Really? No, that's not so true at all. So your biceps were busting out? No, I you can't see, do the interview like that. You see, here's the deal is that, you know, I do lift every once in a while and there is some sort of motivation whenever you're doing a lift to be able to maybe see some shoulders and arms. Mm. Didn't know I'd be on camera today, so well, I probably would have thrown some sleeves on. I'm not that big of a hondo. I do know you used to have a day with your special teams unit. What was that, the bicep oh, day or something? Still suns do. out, guns yeah. out? Uh, suns out, guns out, but it is known as Gun Show Friday. Gun Show yeah. Friday. Yeah. Okay, so you're gun a little early. Gun Show every day. Yeah. A little early. Gun Show every day. Uh, <laughs> this is your 10th season. Good old decade Dude. that you're entering into. Does it feel like it? Yes, but like in a good way. It's just the... I don't know. It's just how long everything has gone on, like see, seeing everything, mm -hmm. like the stories you tell, the people that are coming and going. So that, that's been the cool part is just just very thankful. Yeah, very thankful. A lot of new faces then again this year faces. to learn. Yeah. Um, how's that for you, though? Yeah. Like, what, what is your approach? Because to the new faces, new coaches, new players. Yeah, uh, just nicknames. You gotta okay. find up, you know, nicknames. <laughs> uh, and then eventually, like you have the nicknames down and then you're walking through the locker room and you see the person that you have a nickname for and then you just kind of peek up real quick at their name. Make sure. You look at them, name. All right, I got it. So <laughs> I do it every day. Yeah, there's always a new rookie where I'm like, sup, Big Chamba? All right, there it is. I got him. Now. And who's like, Big Chamba? I don't know. You just make it up. It's oh. when you're a vet, especially, and the guys are like, "Oh, look, cool! I'm Big Chamba." Well, that's what I want to know. I talked with Terry McLaurin, yeah. longest tenured on offense. Yeah. John Allen, longest tenured on defense. Yeah. But you are the longest tenured on the team. Does that give you special rights? Kind of. Like um, the OG. Yeah. I only get special rights because John Allen makes sure that everybody knows I have special rights. <laughs> I don't actually have them myself, but whenever you have JA telling you what's up, everybody listens to him. So yeah, I, I'm glad I got in good with him, getting him into golf. We golf together, have a good time together. So as long as he's got my back, I've, I have special rights, yeah. I've really seen him grow as a leader oh, throughout man. his career he's as well. He's the best, dude. He, he yeah. certainly has. Yeah. You're coming off a Pro Bowl season, which you were out there with John yeah. and Duran as well. Yeah. It was your second Pro Bowl. Yeah. What was so special about your year for you? Um, you know, I think uh, I think the season really started out in kind of a, a tough way. Obviously, not the wins we wanted, but even just the the games. Like we just going out there to punt whenever you don't have the lead, or maybe we're losing by more than we want. That's tough to be mm -hmm. tough to be motivated, you know. And we just have such great leaders, and especially you got somebody like Jeremy Reeves leading the huddle, and, and incredible players all across the punt team. We just found this found this mojo, you know. Like we just we just kind of we got this this kind of swagger. We got like, hey, all right, let's go. We'll make a play. We'll find a way. And then the team started expecting us to make plays. That was so fun. And then just. I, I took all the guys out for dinner at the end of the season because I'm like, hey, man, I know I'm the one that gets to go to the Pro Bowl, but I didn't make one tackle. I didn't block a soul. Like, so it was, man, it was, it was a really fun year. Yeah. Where was dinner? Uh, it was at Tuscarora Mill. They okay. gave us a nice little private spot, and it was it was a really great Just time. Just kind of seeing how you Everybody roll came. I did, a, I did a little toast, and I cried my eyes out. So I'm also getting soft, you know, in my older age mm. now. So, yeah. Well, you used you to be have more to reflect upon. 37 punts within the 20. It's like a good, yeah. almost 45% yeah. of them. Do you like, is that something you set out for as a goal of like how many, you know? That's a, that's a really good question. And I promise second you- Second most in the league. Okay, that's cool to know. Yeah. I did not know that part. Um, you know, in 2018, I still view 2018 as the time my career switched. And I came home one day and we just uh, beat the Dallas Cowboys and I was pretty pissed off. I had averaged like 40 yards uh, it was rain game, like, and I'm just sitting there, I'm talking about numbers. And my wife goes, I've never seen you talk about numbers like this. Did you play good? And I looked back, we punted six times. Five of them were inside the 20, four were like inside the 10. I was like, yeah, yeah, I had a good game. She goes, just have fun and play, just try to make a play and the numbers will take care of themselves. And I kid you not, I have played every game that way since that conversation with her in the kitchen. And so when, I did not notice it. It's not a goal. I just try and make a play. When she says have fun, yeah. I was talking with Nate Katzer, your special teams coach. And one thing he told me, which kind of took me by surprise a little bit, yeah. is that over the last few years, he's seen you have more fun playing football, not just punting, having yeah. more fun with your teammates. Yeah. Is that from what you're talking about yeah, there? Yeah, it just, it just kind of happened. Like I, instead of chasing after 
Pro Bowls or chasing mm -hmm. after numbers. I'm trying, I'm just trying to make a play, make a good play, and I make zero of those plays by myself. Mm -hmm. So I kind of force my celebrations onto everybody else <laughs> and I come tackle them or chest bump them while they're not chest bumping me. I just end up <laughs> landing on them, things like that. And I just, I just, I'm just in the moment. I'm just having fun with it. And it is, I, I do not plan on stopping. Hopefully it's because we're making more great plays. But. And it shows the one thing Cats did say as well as it's contagious. Yeah. And your teammates, yeah. which is great. 26 of your punts were fair catches, which was fourth last year. Is All that right. part of the goal, like to have it be a fair catch or do you potentially want it to yeah. go and play so, so fair catch is also known as all net baby just all net yards there's no return there's no nothing just bam and the two reasons for the fair catches would be percy butler and christian holmes uh sip and percy butler those are my two reasons for fair catches if i look out there and i see it's it's whenever a gunner is one-on-one -on -one. Mm -hmm. and when that when somebody is trying to block percy butler or sip one-on-one -on -one, I'll take I'll take my money with my guys every time. And so I just try and give it decent hang. Depending on conditions, maybe I lied into it a little bit with some distance, but those guys, they're forced fair catches. They get points for those, and our special teams uh, stat sheet is a forced fair catch. And those dudes, I mean, they're so dang fast, and I'm glad they're on my side. So, yeah. <laughs> he also mentioned that you have a uh, bag full of puns. Not sure I, you can add to it. You probably are maxed out at this point. Yeah, close. Uh, but he did say there's things that you could work on. And yeah. What are those things? Yeah, I... Um, in my golf game, I am known for being a pretty good wedge player. Well, there is a area of the field that I typically get in between clubs and uh, it is right, right around the 50, but more on our side, like when we're punting in where I can't quite just launch one, mm -hmm. but it's also not one of my favorite little touch shot pooch punts. And uh, it just kind of depends on the conditions. And so I've been working on that a little bit, but I think, I mean, coach knows me really well. He's right. I don't know if I could have another punt. It's just really refining the ones I do have. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's all about uh, it's all about having a pro miss. Like you're a human being, you're gonna have some crappy ones, but as long as it's manageable and pretty good, then that's whenever it's all right. So that, I'd say that's the one I'm working on. Yeah. Finish this sentence for me. Okay. For Trustway, the 2023 season will be <laughs> my tenth season. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, yep. <laughs> you're feel that is that that sounds like true wisdom from yeah. a man that has been around this game uh, for yep. just about a decade. I, in the I would say yeah. for for Tress Way, and I it'll be a longer answer, but it will be one game at a time, yeah. just because I I love going all in one game at a time. Yeah. All right. Can you give us a flex to close this out? I cannot give you a flex because there's a hundred percent chance that would just show up and it'd probably be, there'd be pictures taped everywhere, but everybody knows that's there's, what, that's I guarantee exactly you, what I was going I guarantee for. you like mid conversation, somebody watching this is going to be like, dang, look at his shoulders. Yeah. yeah. yeah so, you know, just right. it's almost pool season with the kids. You got to be ready. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <Tress. laughs> yeah.